What is going on people? Triple M back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about Manchester United Football Club as they are set to sign Marcel Sabitzer in a shock and late transfer move. According to Fabrizio Romano, Manchester United are deep in talks with Bayern Munich for the potential purchase of Marcel Sabitzer. Marcel Sabitzer wants to leave Bayern Munich and apparently has missed training with Bayern Munich today which is huge. And according to Fabrizio Romano as well, Chelsea are currently busy with other deals. So as things stand, they are not in for Marcel Sabitzer despite being linked with the player. This is a huge positive because many Manchester United fans assumed, like myself, that we would not get any business done today at all. And if we were going to get any business done, it was going to be some late, dramatic, desperate deal that made absolutely no sense at all. But Sabitzer is actually a really good player and for the type of profile we need to replace Christian Eriksen as he has been injured and he will be out for the next three months at least, this guy actually ticks a lot of the boxes. Now, in terms of where he will play, obviously he slots into where Christian Eriksen comes in because he ain't going to dislodge Bruno and obviously he's not a defensive-minded midfielder in the same way that Casemiro is. Casemiro is excellent at taking the ball off the back four and progressing it up the field. But with the help of Christian Eriksen this season, it's made it a little bit easier on Casemiro because he doesn't have to do it alone and obviously can't do it alone at this level despite how, be how good he really is. Eriksen has been so important for Manchester United at progressing the ball up the field from our defensive third into the attacking half. And he's so good at distributing the ball, whether it's finding a pass to Bruno Fernandes, finding a pass to Marcus Rashford, or spraying it across the other two members of the front three in Vegos and Anthony. He is so pivotal because his creativity from deep makes us a lot more dynamic than we've ever been since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson. He genuinely is probably our best eight since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson. But his deficiency has always been defensively, right? in two ways. One, he's just not very defensive minded and he's not very good at breaking up the play. But two, he also doesn't have the legs. So in addition to not really being able to position himself adequately defensively and not having a good defensive uh, uh, mind and a good eye for an interception and being able to break up the play, he also doesn't have the tenacity and the recovery pace to really run up and down the field the way we need and at the intensity that we need for Eric Ten Hag's system. You bring in someone like Marcel Sabitzer and suddenly you have a very different dynamic. Now, let's start with his FBRF reports in terms of passing. In terms of passes completed per game, he's sitting at 52.8 per 90. That is in the 78th percentile across Europe. Um, for context, that is above average. That is pretty decent. He obviously wasn't good enough to start for Bayern Munich because of the abundance of talent they had and also the issues that he had due to injury. But at Manchester United, he is by far and beyond better than Fred, far and beyond better than McTominay, and on form, definitely better than the injured Donny van der Beek. So, Without a doubt, he comes into this Manchester United team and he does improve us in terms of his passing ability. On top of that, in terms of passes completed, he's sitting in the 92nd percentile. Four and eight, that's pretty impressive. That means his passes are very safe and he looks after the ball very, very well. And you might be fooled into thinking, well, maybe that means he plays a lot of sideways passes and he's not that progressive. Well, if you look at his passes into the final third, it's, he's only sitting in the 55th percentile and it's not that great. But if you look shortly under at the bottom there, third from the bottom, he passes into the penalty area. He's in the 70, 72nd percentile and his progressive passes right at the bottom of this graph is at, in the 70th percentile. So actually he does play progressive passes and actually he does play a lot of passes into the final third. So Bitzer is a very attacking-minded midfielder. And in fact, at Leipzig, he was known as a goal-scoring midfielder as well because of his shots per 90. This guy takes a ridiculous amount of shots. If you look at his shooting and his FBF reports in terms of how many shots he takes per game, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive indeed. I believe he ranks in the 92nd percentile for shots taken per 90 against other midfielders in the top five leagues in Europe, which is pretty impressive. That is by far and beyond above average. That's not just above average. That's really darn good. And on top of that, what really impresses me the most, more than anything, is his defensive contributions. Defensively, he ranks in the 92nd percentile for tackles and the 93rd percentile for tackles won. So this guy is not only somebody who's giving you something going forward, like Christian Eriksen, and is well-rounded in terms of his technical ability, in terms of his passing, his distribution, as well as his shooting. He's also somebody who has tenacity, who's got an eye for a tackle, he's got an eye for interception, and he's very defensively minded when he needs to be. Whether or not he can play at the intensity required for Manchester United at this part of the season due to the fact that he hasn't been playing a lot of football for Bayern this season, that remains to be answered and that remains to be seen. But it is looking promising. And this is a player that a lot of people have been very positive about on my timeline. And, and by a lot of people, I mean people that I respect in terms of their footballing opinion and their knowledge. So 
yeah, this seems like a very good signing. The question really is, will Manchester United spend a, a bucket load uh, of, 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 of money on this player? And will Manchester United give him a stupid long contract? Or will they be smart and give him a short-term deal with an option to extend and just see where we are in the next 18 months? That really comes down to... Um, that's really what it comes down to in terms of whether or not this will be a good signing, in my humble opinion. But as usual, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, it's been your boy Triple M. I uh, hope you did enjoy this video and hopefully, fingers crossed, Manchester United get this deal over the line. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and leave a comment. Peace.